Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 7. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 22 of Book 7. Now in this proposition, we have two numbers, A and B, where A and B are the smallest two numbers that can be used to form the ratio of A to B. It states that if that is true, then the greatest common divisor of A and B is equal to 1, or in other words, A and B are relatively prime. To prove this, we are going to use contradiction. So again, we are starting off that A and B are the smallest two numbers to form the ratio of A to B. However, we are going to assume that the greatest common divisor of A and B is equal to C. So in other words, C measures A, and C also measures B. Now if C measures A, let's create a number D so that the unit number 1 measures D the same number of times that C measures A. So C measures A four times, and the unit number measures D four times. Then according to definition 15, C A is equal to C times D. So this is the definition of multiplication. Using the same argument, we can find the number E such that B is equal to C times E. So C measures B three times, the unit one measures E three times, so therefore C times E is equal to B. Now if A is equal to C times D, and b is equal to c times e, then according to Proposition 17 of this book, the ratio of d to e is equal to the ratio of a to b. But by definition, d and e are smaller than a and b, which violates our original condition that a and b are the smallest numbers possible to create that ratio a and b. So we have our contradiction. So there is no greatest common divisor, C, that is not equal to 1. So therefore, the greatest common divisor of A and B is equal to 1. And that satisfies our proof.